pretty much tacos is just like my favorite food. So it's like I always eat tacos. A majority of the time while I was recording in the studio, tacos was like my meal of choice. I really like beef tacos. I like the sauce, the sour cream with the lettuce, cheese, just like you can't you can't mess it up. I probably eat like 3,000 tacos. I can eat tacos for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Catch These Vibes is pretty much just a tape. Um, me going outside of my comfort zone, you know what I'm saying? Because I normally write every song, you know, like this time around, like I just went in the studio and I'm catching vibes off of all different types of beats. So that's why I named it Catch These Vibes. The one song that I went in with is it's my favorite song off the tape because it's like real personal. It's called Pressure. What made this song Pressure more personal than like all the other songs on there? Like, I recently lost my brother, you know what I'm saying? Like me and my mom, my baby mom was like going back and forth about like me not really having time to be around as much as I used to. Everybody like basically like think I'm like living like this lavish life, you know what I'm saying? But I still deal with the pressure on my shoulders, you feel me? And this is what I was talking about in the song. And it's called Pressure. It's a few features on there. Um, I got Yachty, I got my bro A Boogie on there, Wiz Khalifa on there, I got Smoke Perp, Ugly God, Juicy J, Roy Woods, Russ of course, yo, Russ is super dope. I knew of him, but I never met him, you know what I'm saying? But once we locked in, it was just like, damn, this guy really dope, like, he really a cool person, and like, I get it now, you know, I get why everybody is so attracted to him, and I get why everybody, like, in love with Russ. I could say, my sound definitely come from the best I ever had. It was like a different sound to me. And I heard it on the radio. And that was like the first time that I was like, damn, like, who this? I started rocking with Drake in like 2008. When I was I was in placement. Placement is like a juvenile facility a little bit because like who else before him in my era was rapping and singing it? We working on something right now, you know. I just sent him like two songs. He really hype about them. He told me like one of my songs was like one of his favorite songs. Like, a remix that I did, Unforgettable, he basically said like, the song was already a hit, like I don't know how you can make an already hit, but a super, super hit. And I was like, dang, Drake said that about something. So in my music, you feel me, it just made me feel good. I don't know, I feel like anytime I work with a different artist, you know, they bring out like a different sound to me. Designer, that's my guy, shout out to Designer. You know, he just, he was in the studio, we just made too many songs to not put out a tape, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's like, he was just in there cooking. All heat. Zana, he got that good tone, man. He just was putting it down. I just was like vibing off of that. And we just was going crazy. Back to back, back to back. Brr, brr, brr. And now, we got this project coming out, you know. For the people, for our fans, you know, good music. Hey, tacos. Talking about tacos. You want some tacos? <laughs> no, they nachos. Uh, I need tacos. Yeah, he got the sauce. Yeah, I got it all. Yeah, I got it all. I got sour cream, huh? I got hot sauce, huh? Yeah, it's so delicious. Mm, tacos, huh? <laughs> I say no, I can't really freestyle for tacos right now. <laughs> I tried it. <laughs> if they was eatable for me, I would have dogged them.